Ole, Ole, <laughs> Ole. Wow. Roma have scored to basically level up with Barcelona or again ahead of Barcelona after being down, you know, on aggregate. And Manchester City basically laid their bed, you know what I mean? They made their bed comfortably and Liverpool laid them on that motherfucker. Liverpool respect the club and his tactics today. Respect to the king, Egyptian king. Correction, he's not the king yet. For you to be the king of football, you got to put in at least five years of work. But without that, one of the greatest seasons ever. Now Salah is doing what he's supposed to do in the big games, scoring, showing up, and showing up, and opening in his arm. Now that's respect. Now that's respect. Throughout the first half, everybody thought Liverpool, um, Manchester City was going to come out and win the game. But the thing about it, I think that was a huge momentum shift that did not happen. The penalty that they did not give and give an offside to, that was a clear-cut goal. But due to the fact that they didn't give the goal, now... Let's rewind real quick. If that would have been given a penalty, it would have been 2-0 City going into the halftime. Coming out, Liverpool would have had to attack, and that would have opened up the lanes for City, De Bruyne, you know, and good one who come on the second half to basically thread passes to Jesus, you know, and basically leveled up the score. But due to the fact that the referee did not give the call, the momentum had stayed in Liverpool half. And I've never seen Liverpool play the game like this, where they had 11 players behind the ball. They did not attack at all during the first half. They had the clue, you know what I mean, counter-attacking opportunities, but they didn't make the best of him. I just had a shot on target. But coming out the second half, Salah showed us what he's capable of, showing that the season may not be a fluke. Next year is going to come back and be better than ever. Coming back from an injury after missing a game and basically scoring. Put Liverpool, leveled up with Manchester City. Then for me to put the icing on the cake and send them boys home. And do you realize that every time Manchester City tactics is not working, Manchester City is basically getting bombarded, that Pep Guardiola actually goes into his corner and sit down and he's run out of ideas. It's like it's a one thing and set and go. But we bless, respect the club, man. After Liverpool been missing the Champions League for quite some time, coming back in and restoring a new attitude, restoring a new feeling, bringing European nights back to Enfield, I'm sure those fans are very ecstatic to be in the round, <laughs> man, to be in the, to the next round of the Champions League. You know what I mean? All respect to all the Liverpool followers, Dominic Walsh, Robo, my brother was adding. And chat, yo, I know you guys are ecstatic. My mate, all you guys are ecstatic that Liverpool has been knocked, you'll be able to knock out City at the Champions League, which is the most prized possession for a European club to win the Champions League. Liverpool definitely, you know what I mean? Going into next season, they'll have high hopes. Gotten again, world class players coming in, but Manchester City, man, all that talks about a hundred point season, all that talk about winning a treble or quadruple, all that talks about Pep being the best. Now we've seen the best of Pep. He probably won the league every fucking single year. Is there not on Jose Mourinho watch? Nigga said now who knows him. We've seen Pep for what he is, which is a little bit of a fraud. Not always failing to win the Champions League. You realize that all the teams that he has been through, you only win the Champions League with. Barcelona because he had Messi, Iniesta, and Xavi, and Busquet, and a healthy Carlos Puyo. Besides that, he went to Bayern Munich, one of the best teams in the world, and couldn't accomplish winning the Champions League. So he had to leave the city, another team that got deep pockets, and now he failed. So we got to wait till next year. He said it's not before long before City win it. But respect to the Liverpool followers, respect to the Liverpool fans. You will never walk alone. As long as you're on this channel, you get the criticism that you deserve and you'll get the praise today like you deserve. You understand me? Because this is the good, the bad, and the ugly. Welcome to GBC TV. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Club. I said that. <laughs> Club about to be cursing at the press conference. Definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I will be going live next, but baby. Less than a month left, man, and my band will be over. So I'll bring in a whole new dimension to this channel or whatnot. So don't miss out. And this is your World Cup channel, by the way, because I will be on that ass. And I will be. I ain't even going to say what I'm going to do, but no channels ain't going to be able to do that. You understand me? No channels. I got it all planned out. I love you all, baby. I love you. I love you. What a night of football. Or what a day of football. What time is it where you at right now? Back enough. <laughs>